Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are appreciated. I want to talk with you today about one quick tip, and that is this. When you first set up your tank, if you were like me, you wanted to have this uh, sort of epic looking setup. So uh, a lot of you went out and purchased, uh, you know, castles and dragons and skulls and uh, a lot of rock work and things of this nature. And uh, over time, what has happened now is that your fish have put on size and you've added stock to your tank. And if you're like a lot of folks, you're stuck in a position where you have to either get rid of some of your fish or move to a bigger tank and maybe, maybe one, you don't want to get rid of your fish, two, you don't have room for a bigger tank or the budget for a bigger tank. And what do you do? Well, here's my tip. You get to a point in the progress of your tank where you have to start taking stuff out of your tank. You may have to take out that castle. You may have to take out some of those rocks. And you're going to have two benefits. You can have two benefits from this. One is um, your fish are going to be essentially in a bigger tank. Not because you put them in a bigger tank, but because they're going to have more swim space, more room to turn around and to be active in. The second benefit, the second benefit, and in my mind, even more importantly, is you're going to have more water because that decor that you have in there is, is taking the space, it's displacing where water could be. So when you take out some of those rocks, you take out some of that decor, you're going to have water in there that wasn't there before, and that's going to dilute, help to dilute the parts per million of the kind of things that you don't want in your aquarium. Whether that's a slight increase in ammonia or perhaps nitrites or nitrates, whatever the case may be, you're going to add more water volume, which is always a good thing because it helps to dilute the polluters, the things that can pollute an aquarium. All right? So my tip for you today is this. You can give your fish more space by taking out decor without moving them to another aquarium. Now, take this with a grain of salt because if your tank is working, your fish are getting along, they're healthy, they have hiding places that they become uh, territorial about but are not really going after each other or killing each other, be reluctant to change anything in your tank. Take this simply as the advice of some guy on YouTube, okay? However, if you've reached a point where you feel like you have to start thinning out, thinning out your stock, you need a bigger tank, but you don't think you can afford it or don't have the space for it, consider taking some of the things out of your tank. And uh, I'm doing that right now myself. I did it with the, with the 100 gallon, and I did it with the 150 to some degree, okay? I hope this helps. If you like the content of this channel, be sure to uh, hit that bell, Hit the sub button, rate and share, and uh, come by, visit on Facebook at Ben O. Apostrophe Cichlid, and follow on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid, and uh, visit on Saturdays at 10 a.m. usually for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Would love to see you there, and uh, I get to answer some of your questions live. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you for tuning in. See you again soon. Bye-bye.